y'all what is up it's Kimberly here for those of y'all that don't know me hi welcome to my channel my name is Kimberly I've already said that but I make videos about Germany and I'm an American so if that's your cup of tea come join the family subscribe to my channel come on it can be a blast we can all have fun together so I recently made a video and I will link it somewhere around here about things that Germans say that confuse me and something that I mentioned is that Germans will call cream cheese Philadelphia um and it was kind of controversial because a lot of people were like I would never do that a lot of people were like I would do that and I just think it's really interesting how a lot of cultures do this we call words brand names instead of calling them the actual word so I decided I wanted to make a whole entire video of brand names that Germans use as words. If any of that made sense. I feel like this whole entire video is a big tongue twister. Please bear in mind my German is not the best and it's something that I'm working on so please be nice about the way I pronounce some of these brand names. I'm probably going to butcher a lot of them. Number one is Teza and that is the clear tape. So we say in America, instead of the clear tape, we say scotch tape, and scotch tape is definitely a brand. So Germans do this too, but with the German version of scotch tape, which is Teza. I don't even know what the actual name of the clear tape is. If you know the actual name of it, please comment that down below. You'd help a sister out. Number two is Temple. And we also have this in America. We say Kleenex for tissue, but Temple is tissue, so, you know, the thing that you use when you sneeze in it, cough in it, whatever. Yeah, so temple is what Germans say instead of tissue. Number three, baby phone. And that is the baby monitors. So instead of saying baby monitors, they will usually just say the baby phone brand and use that no matter what brand the baby monitor is. Number four, edding. And this is for a permanent marker. We also have this in America with Sharpies. So I'm starting to notice a trend where we also will do this in America. It's just different brand names. So I guess it's just a big human thing to do. Smart marketing. I'm really going to give props to these companies though. Number five, and that is Whirlpool. And a lot of people in Germany will use that when they are referring to a hot tub. We actually don't do this in the US, I've never heard a whirlpool referred to as a hot tub. Maybe it's just me, maybe people do do it. I mean, I don't really have a social life, so it's possible. I don't really go into hot tubs. I know we have a hot tub in our backyard, still never use it. Don't know why my parents even got a hot tub when we live in Texas. Oh my gosh, what am I even saying? Anyway, so whirlpool for hot tubs. Number six, and this is pampers for diapers. Since I don't have a child, I don't know if this is something that we say in America, but I can imagine that we definitely do say Pampers. And I guess I get it, they're the leading company, so Pampers for diapers. Or there's also Huggies. Does Germany even have Huggies? I've never even thought about that. Hmm. Number seven, and I know I'm gonna butcher this name, Topa Tupa Doza. So that's the plastic containers that you store food, put it in the refrigerator, and in the US, we do this as well. We call it Tupperware, and that is our brand of Tupperdoza. Again, very similar. Number eight, and I bet you this is more of a universal thing, but Q-tip for a cotton swab. I've heard both in the US. A lot of people will refer to any cotton swab as a Q-tip, but also a lot of people will say cotton swab still. But in Germany, this happens as well, and Germans will call Cotton swabs, Q-tips. I had to think about that. I almost said Q-tips as cotton swabs. No, that was right. I don't know, I'm so confused. Number nine, and I actually didn't really know this, but instead of saying inline skates, Germans will say rollerblades, and we do this as well in the US, but I didn't even personally realize that rollerblades is a brand, not a word and now my mind is forever blown. Number 10, and I love you guys, but I really don't understand this one, is calling four by four vehicles a Jeep. So calling Jeep-like cars, just in general, a Jeep. Yeah, Jeep is a brand, it is not a word. And I feel like most Germans know that, 
but the, it's such a habitual thing. Like we have this down in the South, a lot of people will say Coke instead of soda, and they don't mean the Coke brand, they mean soda. And number 11, kind of a strange count that I'm doing here, but aspirin is one, so any type of pain reliever, a lot of people will just say, hey, can you get me aspirin? But they don't necessarily mean aspirin. You can get the off-brand aspirin or a different type of brand, but aspirin is a general term. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I thought it was really interesting to hear about brands that Germans use as words. And the US and Germany definitely have a lot of similarities like Q-tips and even the types of objects that have brands as words. So if you are a German watching this video, let me know down in the comments below. Are you guilty of using these brands as words? Or did you not even realize that some of these words are brands? <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and like it. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, I know 95% of y'all that watch my videos are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean the world to me. I will see y'all next time. Ciao, tschüss, bis dann.